Is it recording? Yes. All right, thank you for joining me today. Uh, in this video, what I'll be doing in just a moment is reading the three sentences written on the whiteboard just behind me. Embedded within these sentences are errors related to verb tense, in some cases spelling, uh, issues with capitalization and punctuation. And after I've read each of these sentences to you, I'm going to ask that you pause the video once I step away, in which case, again, now that I'm out of the way, I would ask that you pause the video, make any and all corrections that you can, and then resume when you're ready so that we can correct it together to see if your corrections align with those that I'm able to identify. And perhaps, of course, if you have something different, you're welcome to leave those in the comments below. All right, sentence number one. Benjamin sitted too close to a fireplace and he burned his brother's book. All right, sentence number two, we have brother was extreme angry. He yelled at poor Benjamin. And then, of course, we have sentence number three. It is an mistake. Ben plead, but his brother had storm out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get out of the way. Let's see if the exposure works. All right, go ahead and pause the video. Reread them yourself and please correct them and then resume when you're ready. Okay, looks like I'm moving, so you've resumed. All right, sentence number one it's a proper noun and it's the beginning of a sentence, which means a capital letter is required. So Benjamin sitted. Um, sit is an irregular verb, it should be sat if it happened in the past. So sat is the correct form too close so i'm talking about the um the adverbial version of two as opposed to the preposition because he was too close the manner in which he was close was too close right too close to and here i have the adverbial form when really i want the preposition so it should be t-o he was too excuse me benjamin sat too close to a fireplace and he burned his brother's book so um, you could change a, which is a general uh, article, to the, if you're talking about a specific fireplace. Uh, in this case, I'm going to keep it general, but it's probably best, in all honesty, to modify the general article a to the, because I'm talking about a specific fireplace. And he, here I have another general, um, general article, excuse me, and he, but this really should be a contraction, or contraction, excuse me, a conjunction, linking the first clause to the second. So and should be and. He burned, well, he burned, but no, it happened in the past, so he burned. So he burned his brothers. Here I have a plural form of brother. Instead, I want the um, possessive form. So I'm going to go ahead and add the apostrophe S, which then takes a plural of brothers or plurality of brothers makes it singular and shows that this brother owns the book. So Benjamin sat too close to the fireplace and, and excuse me, he burned his brother's book. We're going to go ahead and punctuate that with a period because it's a declarative. And then looking at sentence number two, we have brother was extreme. Okay, well, we're talking specifically about Benjamin's brother, so we want to include the possessive pronoun, his with a capital, his brother was extreme, well, extreme or extremely angry. So this is going to be an adverb describing his anger. So extremely angry. He yelled. Oh, sounds like we've got two clauses here. We're describing his brother's feeling. And then there's going to be a pause. So we're going to issue that pause or segment, rather create the pause with a comma. So his brother was extremely angry, pause. He yelled, again, this happened in the past, so he yelled. It's a general, or excuse me, it's a regular noun, or verb, excuse me. So we're just going to append ed as a suffix. So he yelled at poor Benjamin. Again, it's a name, it's a proper noun, requires a capital, and we're going to go ahead and punctuate with a period. Next sentence. It is an mistake. Okay, so we're going to capitalize the beginning. It is and mistake. Well, here you have a general article, and the next word starts with a consonant. So the general article, the rule is, it should be A if the following word begins with a consonant. It's an only when the next word begins with a vowel. So to follow that rule, I'm going to change the general article A, or an, excuse me, to A. So it is a mistake, Ben plead. Well, Ben did this thing. So in this case, he pleaded. 
So pleaded, regular verb. But his brother had stormed out. Again, happened in the past. So his brother had stormed out. Regular verb. Period. And notice here, it is a mistake. Then pleaded. Oh, then proper noun. Capital. And this is just the abbreviated form of Benjamin. If he's pleading, in a way he's saying something, or rather we're addressing the fact that Ben is speaking these words in this case in an exasperated kind of way. So we're going to open up with quotes to indicate that dialogue is happening. So it is a mistake, exclamation mark. And they know to use the exclamation mark within those quotes because he's pleading, right? Generally, if he's upset and his brother's upset, you would think, given the context of the situation, you're going to want to give it some um, life. So you want to accentuate that with an exclamation point. So it is a mistake, Ben pleaded. Pause. But his brother had stormed out. So he's got two different pauses. All right. Uh, hopefully your corrections aligned with my own. Of course, if you had others that weren't present, you're welcome to go ahead and leave those in the comments section below. Um, if you haven't already, I would have very much appreciated if you could subscribe or if you'd like to. Uh, give it a like if you found it helpful. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Alrighty. Bye.